All right. Welcome back to another episode of Inscription. And today, today's an exciting one. An exciting one. And I'm only trying to hype it up because I'm actually not that excited about the bone deck, which is what we're going to be playing today. Uh, if I don't have all of my Inscription playing recorded, but... I did not utilize really any bone strategies through the videos I have recorded, through the my all of my time off screen that I've played through the story. I didn't use any of the um bone strategies through any of the acts. Like I just I just didn't use the bones. And the reason why I'm excited is I'm gonna try my best to build a deck that is in theme with bones. I'm going to try to stay on theme. I'm not going to just pick this deck and then find a mantis god and like build from there. No, I'm going to try to stay on theme with bones today. We are going to we're we're going to break some bones. <laughs> I hate myself. Um So that's what we're going to do. I've I've utilized a few bone creatures here and there in the challenges because they've they've been free to play and that's about it. Now, I was thinking about putting on at least one of these to see what would happen, but last time I almost regretted putting on the different final boss. I thought we were going to lose, and I, it made me think that while I'm experimenting with decks, I probably shouldn't. So experimenting with new decks, I probably also shouldn't challenge myself, um, but I'm a knack for pain, so I, I was thinking about putting on one of these and just seeing what happens. Um, but I don't, I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're going to... Today we're going to go for the bone deck. Next time we're doing the gek deck. And then after that, we are entering V boot camp. For the all skulls challenge. I am going to slowly train my way up. So... Uh, challenge run 12 was pretty close to all of them. There were only four that weren't on, five that weren't on. I don't think we ever had the annoying symbol on, but I can't remember. Never had these two, never had Grizzlies, and never had this guy on. Well, we've, we've done one with him on, but not with all of the other stuff. Um, but that's the plan. That's the long-term plan. Today, though, I think we're just going to go in, and we're going to be brittle boys. We're going to be breaking some bones. Bones all is ready. All right, this is what we got. Okay, let's um, let's raise the audio back up, huh? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So we could get a totem. What do we what do we have in our deck? A raccoon? What tribe is he, huh? He's not he's not a tribe at all. We could power up a dude. Dire wolf puff goods, coyotes great Ki bone cards are great to power up because they like I said, they're free. Well, sort of. You do have to pay bones, but I think we uh I think we have to start off with the fire pit, man. I think that's what we gotta do. Okay, maybe the music is a little loud. Alright, let's let's uh what can we do that's bony, huh? Cats? Do you get a bone whenever you use the cat to sacrifice something? I feel like you do. I feel like you get a bone for that. This guy uses bones. Alright, he's on theme, bro. He's on theme. We're gonna grab the cat, and we're gonna grab him. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. But I think that's what we're gonna do. And then you know what? We can power up the cat here if it's power. Yeah, brother. This is- this is falling together? Aw, oh, it's hell. Man, that's bullshit. Hmm. What does this say? At the end of the unreturned card, brain the sigil, create one bone. 
I think I still want cat. Cat or coyote here. Cat will do us some good as a blocker. Raccoon's not bad. Ah. The only one not to pick is Lammer Bieber, by the way. We will go are. A 2 3 for 4 bones is pretty good. Let's just do it. I think we should go for it again. We could lose a card, though. If we lose a card, we're going to be hurting. Yo. Yo, I felt it. Dude, I felt it in my bones. In my bones. Get it? <laughs> You're in for a long ride. A long, bumpy ride. Because there's bones. There's bones on the road. Oh man, dude, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to come up with as many bone jokes as I can <laughs> until it becomes just bone dry humor. Oh, Jesus. Okay, um, raven egg. Oh, look at that spider guy. Um, this hand isn't particularly great. So this says when the opponent's creatures perish, I will get bones for it. That's pretty damn good. What I want to know is if we get a bone for when we use the cat to play something. So we're going to find out. He, he shouldn't die if I play him here. No, you don't. Uh, that feels like a waste. Um, and then what I can do is this. Play my whole hand Yu-Gi-Oh style, baby. Well, the cat's not totally a waste. He helps us play our, our good cards. Uh, we can't get the coyote down right now. That's fine. Go, squirrel, go. We need more bone generation. All right, what, what works well with bone? Oh, mama, that's a good card, man. Ooh, do we re-roll or do we grab the cuckoo? Cuckoo says nothing about bones. He requires bones to play. But we need we need more bone generation, not bone not just bone cards. Hmm. Hmm. Should I re-roll? Cuckoo's so good, man. That's too good. We gotta grab it. It'll help us. It'll help us stall the game, so that we can create more bone strategies. Um, we either get a pack rat here, or we put our put our stuff on something. Oh, I have a great idea. We could put flying egg on the cat. That way, the cat's always safe, and he's always able to just infinitely sacrifice and stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm a genius. Ooh, Cuckoo's so good. It kills it immediately. <laughs> Just doesn't use it. Cat. Wait, am I doing this wrong? I forgot. I forgot how this works. This is the one that dies, I think. And it will go on the cat. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yes, okay, that's how that works. Okay. Okay, okay. See, here we go. We're gonna cuck something. We're gonna cuck the egg. Dude, this is... Mm, just perfect. Just perfect. That's all we can do. Look at this. Look at this. And then we can play the raccoon. Oh, yeah. And I could even play the direwolf pup right now. Which is always a good move, baby. Because he generates bones for one turn. It's a really interesting effect. Oh yeah, we're just cruising now. Dude, watch that. We're just gonna we're just gonna come in. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, zero four for three. What a waste. That wasn't necessary. I didn't need to play the coyote. I just wanted to flex. Okay, I think we um I think we go here. See if we can grab some more bone generation. No, that's nothing. That's no that's not bony enough. Oh god dang it, dude. Let's re-roll. None of these are bony. I'd rather get the cuckoo, so I'm gonna abuse the game here. Even on a non-challenge run, I'm just it's so ingrained in my bones to abuse the game that we just have to do it. It's on it's too on theme. It's too on theme with, with the deck today. All my homies hate the pack rats, dude. We're not gonna get the pack rats. I don't know if I'm feeling up for another. I oh see now it doesn't matter to raise the cat's health because we're we're hopefully gonna be cucking whatever he plays. So unless we come across mantis gods and stuff, which we will only see during Leshy's fight, um, we shouldn't have to worry too much about this. So, I mean, raccoons is like not. There's nothing really great here. To put this on cuckoo same thing like it's not going to be getting hit for real so these two are kind of a waste direwolf pup transforms into a five toughness thing i feel like it's just raccoon Shit. we could just do coyote again well wow, let's do the pup Yeah, I'm just gonna grab it here. Not gonna, not gonna waste it. Not gonna waste it. All right, do we want to go for another card pick, or get some pelts and go into a fire? There's a fire both ways. Hmm. I think we want to go this way. I think we can handle the totem. Oh, it's just submerge. It's easy. Easy money. Especially when you got the cucking cat with the with the <laughs> with the companion the cuckoo. Alright, so we let's let's cuck the cuck this guy. Oh no, it gave him a raven egg. Um Oh no. Two seven. All right, all right. A little risky here. Let's grab this raccoon, my man. Yeah, that's how it's done, bro. Even if they get the egg out of it. They still don't have a chance. All right, let's find some more bone strategies here. Come on, baby. Nah, these are poop. Hmm. Tadpole? Hmm. We, we haven't even been able to play the coyote, which is why I don't want to grab the wolverine. That pulse not bad, right? It's a free card. It'll help us. Okay, okay, hear me out. It's a free card, which means it's easy to play, which means it can be used for sacrificing to play more things, which is more bones. Uh huh, uh huh. See? Big brain. Big brain. What's not big brain is this card. Except maybe it is because it could give us the piggy bank that has bones and stuff. More health, huh? Okay, okay. Tadpole? Raccoon? Tadpole. I'm gonna- I, I'm, I'm thinking to do it again, man. I'm thinking to do it again. Shit! Oh well. Whatever. 
It's fine. The smoke gives us four bones when it dies. Oh, come on. It actually got the raven egg? You're literally joking. We have to kill it. We have to kill that thing. Which means we, we were going to have to lose the cuckoo, but we have to kill the pack rat. Or the the raven egg. Alright, we got so many bones right now. Okay, we can hit kill the frog, take two. I could use a squirrel to play the raccoon to get us a pelt. Which I don't hate. We'll get more bones if I do that. Okay. I like that plan. So this will give us a bone. Get your paws off my creature's bones. And then we'll lose him. Get a wolf pelt. Take two. This is this is going all right. Coyote, play a little two five. Do we want to play that now? Probably. the cat let's get some squirrels going for when we have to trade we want to be able to play the things we're trained we're trading for because we're gonna have to play this legitimately we don't have anything overpowered we have this guy which will be huge sort of All right, all right. Ah, it is the end of my turn. Let's trade. Okay. Okay, here, here's, here's the thing. We don't have anything too strong. We have a lot of cards in our hand. Wait, no, this is a mirror. Never mind. The the opossum's pretty good. Except he doesn't kill anything. Which is kind of annoying. None of this synergizes with my deck. I think the I think the things to take are the mirror guy, because he has the biggest butt. And then the worker ant because I don't want them to have a power of two. Everything else I think is we can deal with it. We can deal with it. Of course, there's a mantis to deal with my cat. Um, what I could also do is uh, I could take the sparrow and cuck this space so the mantis never comes in, and then I can play things here. I really like that plan, so I'm gonna do it. And then I'm going to take the worker ant so that they can't have two because Coyote will take care of this. Yeah. You know what? Give me this possum, actually. We're going to we're going to see. And then I actually get to go next. So I don't think I need another squirrel, but I'm going to grab one. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to play the cat. Okay, good. And then we're going to play... <laughs> I don't have anything good to play. We're just going to play our big boy. Yeah, he's huge. 
And I don't think we need to do anything else. I could play Sparrow. So, sure. Oh, yeah, we just win. I'm thinking about this too hard. We don't have anything broken. <laughs> Wins immediately. Okay, I have to say this though. Bone stuff's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Pelt lice. The, underest the underestimated pelt lice and an escapable aspect of the fur trade. I have not seen this card before. It seems pretty strong. This, um... The casting cost is trash. It's got ooh, it's got to do something better than this. It's got to be something better than this. Should we grab it? Can we play something like that? If anything, we give it to the to the. Hunters, I'm sure they'll they'll go away if they eat lice. But Mantis God is always a good grab. Like, look at what you're getting in value. This is one sacrifice, triple strike, double strike for four. Like, this has got to do something better. I kind of want to know. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'll try. I'll try to put it in the video here. See if we can. We'll see if we can get it on screen. On a faint clinking sound ahead could distract you from the sight you set upon the woodlands. Um, well, we're gonna go here, see if we can increase our bone intake. Magpie's pretty good, brother, but so is Warren, because this creates more creatures to die, which means more bones. So I'm actually gonna not grab the tutoring card, believe it or not. I could have used that tutoring card, though. Dude, what if we put Warren on Cuckoos, then Cuckoos making an egg and a rabbit. So you're cucking and advancing the board. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty gas. Goodbye, Warren. Wait a second. The egg it creates will also have rabbit, so I'll make two rabbits. Oh, mommy. Oh, I can't wait to implement that. Give me the Cuckoo. Yes. Yes. Give us the cuckoo. Alright, we don't want that. We don't want that scary wolf to come in. Oh no! Oh, it does They don't have it. We've been seeing a lot of raven eggs this time. That's fine. We'll play... The raccoon. Shit. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, we're gonna take a lot of damage next turn. Is that another wolf? That's an alpha. Ew. Well, this raven really didn't work out for us. Here's the here's the thing. Pack rat. I'm just not. I'm just not getting anywhere, man. I'm not getting any bones. I can't play the coyote. This is what I was talking about, man. Okay. Here's the thing. I think we can beat this. I'm gonna give it one more try. If not, then we're moving on. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Oh, come on, come on, man. Are they predetermined? I, I can't play this any differently. Dude, what do we do to kill this raven egg? If we can kill the raven egg, I think we'll be okay. I can kill the cuckoo. 
Yeah. Just flips over. And then we draw this thing. Like how how are an earth you supposed to play this thing? So we're gonna take three no matter what next turn. Now we take two, we still lose. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how we can do this if it if it if the cuckoo's not gonna I, I, hang hang on, hang on, hang on. I have an idea. I have an idea. Alright, this will be the last try on this. So, we just have to not play the cuckoo, I think. And unfortunately, I don't think we actually get to play... I don't think we can play anything turn one. So we need to kill the wolf cub. So... Uh, we can grab this, play it here, that way we only take one damage, even though full wolf boy is coming in. So now what we can do is play the raccoon, drop the squirrel here, pelt lice. I could use the hook on the wolf, but I, I just, I don't care. It's so hard to get bones. Let's see, we're going to take three, lose the raccoon. That'll be enough to play coyote. We might, we might actually get out of this. Oh, I don't know. Not with him playing another. So here's the thing, that finally kills the the guy, but we're done after that, so we still lost. Like, there's nothing we can do. Yeah. We're just, I don't know, I don't really know what we could have done better. That sucks, because that means now we're not going to get a smoke at the boss fight. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. This Pelt Lights card is terrible. Why did I grab that? That could have been a Mantis God. You can imagine how much stronger that would have been. Uh... Let's grab the Adder. And go this way. Uh, put the Adder here. Put it on the Raccoon. Raccoon will give us more bones now. There's a painter symbol up there. I don't know if that does us any good. Okay, we definitely don't want the another raven egg. Oh my god, you're joking. You're actually joking. Still a really good start from us, though. Yeah, really good start. Yeah, really good. Kind of hard. It's kind of hard to beat starts like that, even if you get the Raven Egg. Um, grab those. Now, which way do we want to go? What what do we want to paint? I, I, I would say Cuckoo, but we've been getting fucked over by him. Coyote? No, maybe. Coyote's a really good card, but he just can't seem to generate the bones. I love the cat card. I think we just need to go to the fire pit. And then we can go up there to the trapper. Or the traitor. It's health again. Come on. This is bullshit. I'm not gonna risk him. We've we've struggled enough here. Uh 
Oh god. Oh, this card is terrible. Uh, play this. What the shit just happened? Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. It's pelt slice. So when you play a pelt, it just goes into play. <laughs> Why didn't we level this up before? Oh, mama. It's so good. And then we can cuck this guy right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Game over. GG, my dude. GG. You just got Yugi'd. Uh-oh. Maybe not. Oh, pelt lice is gone. Oh, no. I got this. Hold on. The power of the cat. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Excellent. So the reason why I put Pack Rat there and not here is because then that one would move over. And that allows the Direwolf Pup to just win the game. Okay, we learned what Pelt Lice does and we should have been buffing that thing up, man. Instead I raised Raccoon and stuff. What is happening? What? Where'd my Pelt... Why couldn't I trade? Is it because I beat him? Must be because I beat him already. I, I wasn't reading. I don't want to do that though. I, like, sorry. Alright, All right, well. I guess we have to. I can't wait for this zero to. Wow. Uh, let's see here. Eh. Let's just get the bird head. We got a couple birds. The prospector. Oh, yeah. Yeehaw! Prospector. Oh, yeah? You want to get cucked, Prospector? Oh, come on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> Dude, I... It has been so many raven eggs. I'm getting hit with all my big stuff I can't play. Gonna play a wolf too. I don't know what to do. Just play the cat and lose it. Or cuck it maybe. Okay. We're not dead yet. But we only have a few more turns. Shit, Pelt Lice won't be able to come in. Son of a... Son of a bitch. I can make them skip their next turn. Let's do that. Pass his next turn, we'll attack. I have an idea. Okay, we'll grab a squirrel. Play the squirrel. I am here. We still- oh, my, my idea doesn't work. Um... Hmm. 
But at least now we're just... I could have played the coyote. It's okay. It's fine. Uh, let's grab another card card. Raccoon just straight up kills Raven and then dies. He doesn't die to coyote. All right, raccoon's really good. Excellent. Uh, let's grab another card. Dire wolf pup, okay. We could play it in the raccoon spot, lose the, kill the coyote, and then we'll lose it. The, oh no, we won't lose it. It has a three of this. That's the best play, I think. Okay, grab another card, another pelt. And then we can drop Coyote here. All right, we're doing pretty good. Oh wait, I forgot. He kills all my things. Oh no, I shouldn't have played Coyote. Why did I do that? All right, let's just grab all the cards. Get him. I'm lost. The pelt lice doesn't save me, man. It's not a good card. Kills the wolf, dies to the wolf cub, and pack rat's my last thing. I think we have to use the hook. <sighs> I can play pack rat here. Playing that coyote here really screwed me. Because coyote could have eaten through bloodhound. Or this column. If I play pack right here, we get an item. It kills wolf cub, it survives wolf. It kills wolf, survives wolf cub. Then we just have to deal with this. Um, I think that's the best start before using the hook. Okay, scissors is pretty good. That's really good. God, he just keeps playing stuff. Let's get rid of that guy. Problem is, we're gonna run out of squirrels. Yep, this the game gets impossible. Literally impossible. With, um... when you don't draw anything. You get a car, yeah, you can't kill these. And that's all it takes to lose here. I'm not gonna have any cards. <laughs> 
And well, that's that's over. That's game over. It's all because I played the damn coyote, dude. And they keep getting bigger. I don't know what we're supposed to do about Wolverine here. Okay, that's how that works. Oh, we're dead. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess we have to try again. And we just don't play the coyote this time. Ah, oh, son of a gun, man. Let's try this again. So it's gonna rave an egg, which makes me want to not even play the cuckoo. But. how we did this at all. How do we stop the wolf? Like seriously, how, how do we stop the wolf? The cat? Okay, that's one problem solved. Okay, now we're now we're slowly winning here. Okay. All right, we got all of our cards. All right, this is working a lot better. Except for the problem is the raven. The raven is not good right now. Because it's going to fly over the gold. And that means I'll never... I'll be taking two every turn and there's nothing I can do about it. And the, the broken egg. So these that's two spaces I don't get to work with at all. 
Mm. So how do we beat this? We can play Coyote right now, and that's the biggest difference. Is he's going to be chipping away. I can... Play a pelt, I suppose, to, s to give us a turn. Yeah. So we lost no matter what here. I believe we've lost no matter what. Because Raven's going to hit us for two. And there's, there's just literally nothing I can do about it. I I'm going to kill this line of creatures. I'm going to get... The thing, and then I'm gonna get hit for two. Because I can block this guy, but I can't do anything about the raven. I can make him skip his turn. I guess. Okay, I got out a lot of cards. We're finally going to hit for some damage. So all we really need to do is block old boy over there. So... I think we only have a few more draws. Need them to hit harder. We're just trading right now. We're not actually accomplishing anything. Don't see how we can do this. Not with this raven. This raven's completely boning me. I can't do anything now. I'm locked out. This is this is impossible. I even had the coyote. It's the raven. Raven's completely fucking me. I guess we just can't play the cuckoo. God, dude, if you if you don't get the broken egg when you land in it play one of these things, you're just screwed. Like, you're literally just screwed. Here's the problem, man, is I, I can't play anything. Yeah, I can't- I literally can't play anything here. I lose- I lose already. So that doesn't work. I need to think of a different strategy. Man, this is hard. I mean, my cards are great. It's the fact that it's predetermined every time and I'm just getting a raven egg every single time. So we can't go here, we have to let them attack. And we have to be super freaking lame and steal the coyote. Which sucks because it just it's just gonna die. I 
next is the cat. We should play that. Is this going to be a raven egg? No, that one's still predetermined to be a broken egg. That's interesting. Alright, we lose the coyote here. Now we just have to deal with this wolf. Which if I could get more bones, we could probably deal with it. We're going to lose the pelt lice immediately. Kill that wolf cub. We're only two damage away from the next phase. I could play Kingfisher, but then I think the wolf cub will stay. I could just play Possum and kill him. And then I could also play Kingfisher. Oh, why did I use the squirrel for that? Oh well, whatever. I hate myself. Okay. Our hand's a little bit better. We're gonna clear two spaces right away. I just fucked up. I just, I totally just messed up. Yeah, I totally messed up, man. I totally just butchered that. Okay, so far so good. I think we're gonna do it this time. Dire wolf pup. Um, I'm gonna get another space here from the wolf cub. Okay. Grab pelt. All right. Wolf cub's a problem. Here, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. This thing is an eight four. <laughs> oh my god, that was awful. I just messed up so many times. I that's all it was. It's my fault and I had to use the hook for it. Which really stinks. We're going to need it for Leshy. Oh god. Yo, Ouroboros. Let's go. Let's freaking go, dude. Maybe this isn't over yet. grab this look at this guy thinking he's slick this guy this card's so good it's a four one that can't die no matter what I have a plan though 
I have a freaking plan here. This might seem crazy. And I just met you. But here's my number. So call me, maybe. You're thinking, what? What? What the hell are you doing right now? Just wait and see, brother. Just wait and see. Just wait and see. Oh, shit. Well, this isn't good. Oh, never mind. Go check this out. Oh, pelt light's gone. card I can play. I think we lost. Do I have a life here? I don't I don't see a way through this. I'm just gonna take the loss. Fuck it. I don't see a way through that at all. Am I just gonna get a raven egg again? Let's find out. I bet it is. Oh, okay. Uh, tadpole, rabbit, boulder. Okay. Wolf pelt. All right. Got ourselves an item out of that. Just gives me teeth. Okay, that's fine. Guess I don't get to trade no more. Hmm, this is not how I wanted this to go. But unkillable tadpoles, stupid strong. Just a free card that just doesn't die. It's a bone generator. Okay, we need a we need a pelt, I suppose. We have nothing good. I guess we want to stop the m turtle and go from there. Yeah, this isn't good. We lose next turn if we don't get a pelt. Question is, is where's the lice gonna go? It's next to it. Four damage. Ah, oh, son of a gun. I'll be honest with you, I don't know if we can beat this one. Not without using items. Probably use the boulder and be okay. Uh, so we want to stop the thing. He flies, so it doesn't matter.
There's a wolf pelt. Putting a boulder down doesn't do anything. Grab this. God, I wish I could get some bones. Let's put this guy down, I guess. Okay. The only way to live here is to make them skip their turn. Let's see. I, I kill the flying ant. This will go to one. He'll come in, kill the pelt lice. I take one. So I do survive. Okay. Oh my god, dude. It's just a full board of crap. Look at this. Okay. So it clears that line out. Here's what I could do. Hit him for two. Comes in. Hits for two. Trade. Play this thing. It should be pretty big when I play it. Okay. Oh. Oh. He's unkillable. Oh, come on. I hate myself. <laughs> God, he's unkillable. I didn't need to use all these items. Oh, my God. But my deck's broken. All right. All right. Bruh. This is nutty. Play that thing. Play this thing. Just hit for a shit ton. Okay. That was pretty good. This gives us more pelts. This duplicates things. We can just get a 0-4 pelt. I don't hate it. I don't hate that. Dude, I can buy so many pelts. Want a zero six belt or is zero three? Yeah, this is better. Especially since we can't get any cards anymore. Like, who cares? Let's just get the zero six. It seems pretty good. Please be power. Okay. Ooh, what do we want to do that on? This guy? Cuckoo? The card that's been screwing me over all game? Sure, I'll help you out. Alright, at least the angler's the easiest of the boss fights. A huge. 
huge man approached. Go for Easy to Raven, huh? Yeah, well, you're about to get out ravened. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> ah, the raccoon. Go fish. Shit, brother. Fuck. Hmm. We could win here. I think we have to. I think we don't want to try to go into a fight with him. Well, he's a lot easier to get through, but the deck still doesn't seem very strong. These cards aren't any good. I should have grabbed pelt lice, but I, I have so many pelts. It synergized pretty nicely. Here's the question. Do we go to the sacrifice sigil? Do I put pelt lice's symbol on something? That seems like it would that seems like it'd be pretty good. Um like putting it on cuckoo. Seems really strong. Um I could refill my items because I have none. I have just the time skip one. The third space is a waste, or I could try to complete my bird totem, which I have two birds in the deck. So I don't think that's worth it. So I think sigil is the best option. Sigil are items. So I well, we're here now. I think this guy is... Oh, you can't put it on Cuckoo. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, boy. Let's put flying on something. This guy can get massive, but... We need to deal with Leshy's beginning phase. And he's going to play a lot of creatures. And to be honest with you, I don't think we're going to be able to do it. I'm going to be 100% honest. I don't think we can do it. Put item on something? Ah, fuck it. It's the best. It's the most value. It's the most value I got. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can do this. Or at least we got the smoke. Mole man. Hey, raccoon gets rid of mole man in one shot. That's pretty good. I don't want to- I want Pelt Lice to go over here, though. I just think I should just wait. Fucking Prospector, dude. Tadpole's pretty good. It's a blocker. And then we can... Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Should I clear my old board? That might actually be game over. He's gonna play so many stupid creatures. Yeah, here we go. Another pelt. All right, my hand does nothing. You go ahead, please. Wow. I just got spooty smacked right there. This spot gets hit three times. We lost. There's there's no way to get around this. I just put a golden pelt there, I guess. He's gonna take it, but what am I gonna do? I lost still. Yeah. Oh boy. I don't think we can beat him. I don't think we can do it. I think we've lost. This would be the first. If I can't do it, this would be the first loss. On the channel, at least. A run that we can't complete. We have a good start by killing the Mole Man, but maybe we don't. Maybe the idea is not to kill the Mole Man, it's just to move him. Move him in front of the Mantis God. Like, will he move if I play a Pelt? Maybe. He didn't. Okay, well that didn't work. This is the same start we had. It's a worse start, actually. This time I lost the belt lies. Oh my god, good lord. Jesus. Oh, that's over. Yeah, that's over. Dude, how are we going to beat this with the bone deck? I just don't know what to do. I need to try moving the Mole Man. I need time to build up a hand that can win. I was hoping he would move on the pelt lice, but he doesn't. Here's an idea. Oh, it's because he's not going to move when they're played. He moves when they're attack. When they attack. Stupid. There we go. This might be a better start. Now the pelt lice isn't getting blown out. And Raccoon will take care of at least this Mantis God. Even though there's another one coming down. This is a blocker. I, I probably shouldn't have played Tadpole. Fuck. Dude. Hey, that helps. I need something that can damage. Do I make them skip their turn? I'm gonna lose the... Maybe. I'm gonna use it. It gives me an item. That's a 
good item. That's a seven one. Mothman. Holy balls. I've never seen that card before. Also, I'm annoyed that the bullfrog goes back to my hand and not the tadpole. But what was I expecting? Shit, he's getting stinked. Oh, whatever, about to deal seven. I would have never thought that strange larva was going to get me out of this mess. Wow. Wow. It's just a it's just a casual 7 power. Just that's not even bumped. That's not even buffed. That is what it is. It's gonna die though, so we're gonna lose it, but it is whatever. I got nothing but big shit in my hand. See ya, Mothman. this big boy I can't believe we did it I can't believe it Wow, that was by far the hardest run we've had in a long time. That was so difficult. And you know what, I was kind of expecting that with the bone deck. I was not expecting it to be an easy run because I believe, not I believe, but my opinion is that the bone deck's the weakest. Um, but I was also crutching myself. I was trying to stay on theme with the bone strategies. But um, yeah. I mean, it, it was it was kind of fun in the beginning to kind of see things work and play these free creatures and kind of defy the blood mechanic a little bit. But I think bone cards are should be used exactly how we've been using them for, through the challenge runs is, you know, you build these blood, essentially blood based decks and you kind of throw in these bone cards and put your really powerful things on them, uh, your powerful abilities and sigils so that you're playing this card for free. Like being able to tutor on a on a two boned creature, and nothing else is using up bones. So as you play the game, you're just building up these bones, and then you can drop a tutor, save your ass later, off this free creature or stuff stuff like that. 
putting like the death touch on the free bone creature so that way you can just it can save you when you top deck it you can kill the thing that's messing up your your guys' board um that's that's what i think uh i had fun doing it i i didn't think we'd be able to do it at some points in the run I, that was kind of scary but uh yeah that was fun and i will not be playing that bone deck again um if you enjoyed the video leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel um otherwise i will see you next time so that's it see you